Hey everybody, Carl Shoup from Snorkel.tv here, and today we're going to be talking about recreating uh, this text effect that NBC uses, where the letters sort of flip up in a three-dimensional sort of way. And uh, as you see it playing here, we can just pause, and as I scrub back, just notice how uh, going forward, the word new is going to pop out, and all those letters sort of fly up as if they're laying down and coming forward. Uh, let's go back to the beginning of this really quick. All right, and you will see that this dot flies across and the words more. And so you have sort of a staggered effect where each letter right after the other sort of pops up. And if I scrub ahead to about uh, eight seconds, I believe there's another one that comes in here. All right, they use it all over the place with this little word almost. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, very classy effect, scrubbing over to uh, 10 seconds, there's another one. There we got Dwight, and we got the uh, dot moving. And you'll just see on the bottom here, right down here, this text, it's all just flipping up. All right, and eventually they're going to employ some sort of what I call uh, the corkscrew effect, where one word turns into uh, another word. Let's just find it right real quick. Here we go. So. Dun, 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 dun. You have your Thursdays and Thursdays. Notice how it's folding down, and then more colorful pops up. So this is what I call the corkscrew. All right, and we're going to show you how to build this in Flash. All right, so let's get rid of this video. Okay, and I just want to show you um, what I came up with. And so let's test out a Swift. All right. And you'll see here, you know, the text moves out of the way, that dub 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 flies up, and uh, it's really a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed making this file. Unfortunately, it was a little bit more work than I thought it would be. I used Timeline Max, um, and there's a lot going on with moving the dot around, sliding the text. So what I really want to focus on in this tutorial is just how to get one or two words to do this sort of fly up effect um, letter by letter and we're going to be using TweenMax to make this work. All right, so there's a little intro of what we're going to be doing. Um, well, the actual file we're going to be doing is this. We're just going to take two words. We're going to start with Flash, and it's going to twist down to Made Fun. So I really just want to focus on this sort of corkscrew effect. I'll play this one more time. Oh, we don't want to see that. There we go. All right, it's playful. It's fun. So what I'm going to do is to show you how these files are constructed, and then we're going to show you the action script that you need in order for it to work. Um, I strongly recommend that you check out my intro to Tween Max tutorials, as well as one where I talk about the all from method of Tween Max. All right, so let's go over to my start file here. Okay, and my file is built. Uh, it's pretty basic. We have background stripes, which are just those green bars, okay? We have the word made, okay? Well, it's, so we have the word flash, I'm sorry, first. We turn that off, and then we have made fun, okay? So there are two symbols with full visibility basically sitting on top of each other on the stage, and then I have an actions layer up here, okay? I know you guys don't want to watch me type for 20 minutes, so... I have some actions in this file already, and we'll talk through them in a second. But let's first talk about what's inside these symbols here. So this is something called Flash MC, okay? And so that's one movie clip symbol. If I double click on it, you'll notice that inside this symbol, each character is broken up into its own little uh, letter. So we have F, and then we have L, and then we have A, S and H. So there was a little bit of work going into setting up this file. Um, I broke apart all the text, made individual movie clips, and it's absolutely imperative that you under, that you see that for each movie clip that I have, the registration point is on the bottom. Because when I do my three-dimensional rotation, we want them to rotate around the registration point here on the bottom. So let's go to scene one. Okay, and then we have Made Fun. Double click on it. Again, we have an MMC, we have an AMC, we have a DMC, we have a DMC. Interesting. So anyway, 
what we're going to be doing is in the future, I'm going to show you how instead of making you make hundreds of symbols out of each letter in a word, um, we can do it with ActionScript. But right now, you know, we're going to start with uh, sort of the homemade way. So once we have our words broken up into individual letters, then we can start talking about the action script. So the first thing I want to do is have both movie clip. Well, made fun is going to come in second, so I don't want to see that at all. So let me go to my actions panel, frame one, and you'll see that made fun, the alpha is set to zero. So right now, if I test this movie out, we don't see made fun. We're going to turn the alpha of that up once it gets introduced. Okay, so we'll close this out. And now I've imported the green sock tweening classes and the easing. And I've also created two arrays. And if you've watched my all from episode, you'll know how this works. Um, for the first array, we're calling it flash letters. And we're telling, we're making an array that lists all the different movie clips, the F, the L, the A, the S, and the H, all inside of Flash MC. For the text that says made fun, we have an array set up made fun dot M M C A M C. And you'll see we have made fun. So for both words, we had to create individual movie clips that contains each letter as its own movie clip with its own instance name. And we're putting those instance names into these two arrays. All right, it's a little bit of uh, busy work getting started. Okay, so first thing I want to do is introduce all the letters in the word flash. So I'm gonna just uh, put in my file there something that looks like this. I'm gonna create a uh, tween max instance, which I think I just pasted some code onto the stage. All right, oops. So here we're telling um, tween max, we're gonna do an all from, which means that multiple things are gonna be tweened. We're gonna say, look inside of the flash letters array and basically all of these movie clips are going to be tweened. And we're gonna say the tween is gonna take 0.2 seconds. Right now, let's make it one second, whoops, so you can see it, okay? And for rotation X, we're saying rotate from a rotation X of negative 90. And this is the value that puts all the text literally on its back. And so it's gonna come from being laying down to being straight up because that's the way it appears on the stage. And we're also saying that the delay is gonna, we're gonna wait one second before this thing starts running. And this last car, um, parameter here is the amount of time between each letter coming in. So let's do this. Let's put a one there, we'll make it one second. One, and then you'll see that pretty much as soon as the character ends, the next one comes up. All right, so that was purposefully slow, just so you can see, come on, all the characters popping up, all right? And it's a three-dimensional effect there. Um, maybe I'll slow it down even more. We'll say three seconds, just so you can see it. Now, the, the trick to this effect is that we want it to run really fast. Uh, but this three-dimensional flip is really cool. It's more than just scaling it up from nothing. It's literally rotating it around the x-axis. So the way I want this to look is like this. We're going to say we'll do 0.2, and the delay will be 0.1. All right, not 21, 0.1. So we're going to get something like this. All right, as you can see, much quicker there. Now we are seeing, um, before the animation happens, the text sort of squash down. We'll be able to take care of that in the future. Don't worry about that right away, okay? Um, next thing we're going to do is remove those characters. So to do that, once they've been up there for a while, I'm gonna take a line of code, we're gonna copy, and we're going to go back here and we're going to say for removing the flash let's paste here and I'm going to get rid of something and we'll talk about it as we put it in there okay so here similar syntax we're now telling all the characters in that array to tween to a rotation of 90 and we don't need point one in there and it's going to wait two seconds okay so the first tween waits one second before it starts and then two seconds after the beginning of my movie, 
the text is going to go away. So let's test this out. Letters come up and then they go down. Now what I'm going to do to get rid of those little skinny letters at the end is we're going to add an incomplete listener. And what this is going to do is after every individual letter has completed tweening, we're then going to kill its alpha. So I'm going to say incomplete listener is going to be something called kill MC. All right, and that's the name of a function we're going to call that's going to get rid of each little skinny movie clip there. Um, towards the bottom of my movie, um, I have some additional sneaky code here where I import something called um, a tween event. Um, and the tween event um, object allows us to really um, respond to every little thing a tween is doing and know what movie clip is being tweened. And so the syntax looks something like this. It looks pretty much like what you would do to listen to a button event. Um, but here a tween event is being passed instead of some sort of mouse event. And we can figure out what each movie clip is. And we say event.target.target.name. And so let's activate this code and test it. And keep an eye on my output. You'll see end tween of FMC, SMC, AMC, LMC, HMC. Huh, a little bit out of order, but not terribly worried about that. Well, when we they're all done, we're going to tell all of them that their alpha is going to be zero. So now notice that once those letters flop down, they disappear. Okay, um, That complete listener is awesome. And now they actually ran in order. So I don't know what the deal is with that. All right, so moving forward, that was pretty much the trickiest thing we're going to do. Now we need to introduce the text that's going to say made fun. So again, I'm not going to spend hours typing in front of you and making typos. Let's just paste in some stuff and talk about it. We're going to tell the made fun movie clip now to set its alpha back to 1. And we're setting the delay to 2.2. So understand that after one second, the letters come in. After two seconds, the flash letters flop down. And then two tenths of a second later, we're going to bring in the made fun letters. Okay. So now, flash folds up, it folds down, and made fun comes up. All right, now, now that I know that it's working and I can see it working, we're just going to take flash, and I'm going to move it down here to the middle. And once I move it here, you'll see everything works really smooth. All right, uh, there was a lot more I wanted to talk about here, but I am running out of time. So let's just test this another time. I don't know why it starts so dumb like that sometimes, but there we go. There's our effect. We'll kill our streaming, flash, made fun. And really, guys, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm glad you guys could watch. In the future, I am going to be pulling out this example here where I can literally, before your eyes, I'm going to copy some text, and I'm going to paste it into a text field. And when I test this movie out, we have a really cool letter by letter animation. And basically anything I type in there, letter by letter, it will animate without having to make zillions of movie clips. I'm gonna say it is super duper cool. Test the movie out, it is super duper cool. All right, that's where we're headed. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.